House Committee on General Laws will come to order. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Chair Trent. Here. Vice Chair Riley. Here. Representatives Meredith. Boggs. Brown. Here. Davidson. Hardwick. Hurlburt. Present. Engel. Here. Pollitt. Rogers. Here. Schnelting. Schroer. Schwandron. Sharp. And Weber. <laughs> All right. The only business before the committee this evening is a public hearing for House Bill 2157. Representative Faulkner, please come forward. You may proceed when ready. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Members of the committee, I'm, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Uh, name's uh, Bill Faulkner, uh, representing the 10th District. This is a bill that uh, we have filed for the last, I think this is my fourth year carrying it. It's an LLC bill that uh, it's basically every five years an LLC has to check in and say whether they're still in business or not. We have thousands upon thousands of LLC names out there. Uh, some of them aren't being used right now. And for some of the other uh, people that may want to start an LLC, there takes a lot of time to uh, to look through all these. And so this isn't a money grabbing um, from the Secretary of State's office. It's it's ten dollars uh, for five years. And it's just saying, hey, we're still we're still here. We're still relevant. And, and uh, so with that, uh, I know what uh, tip off is. And so I'll be glad to take any questions. Thank you, gentlemen, for that presentation. I do notice there is a fiscal note. Could you opine on that for a moment? Well, I'm going to uh, leave that to the people behind me. All right, excellent. Any questions for the bill sponsor from the committee? Seeing none, thank you, gentlemen. First witness here to testify in support, House Bill 2157. Please come forward, make sure you filled out a witness card, and you may proceed when ready. Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, I'm Scott R. Clark. I am Chief of Staff at the Secretary of State's Office. Formerly, I was the Director of Business Services, which oversaw all business filings at the Secretary of State's Office. So uh, this is my fourth year also with this bill um, and having testified on it. be happy to answer any questions, some quick highlights. Uh, it does release names, but in the event that you do become administratively dissolved, we have name protection in there that allows for the name to be protected for a year, much like with general business, when they get dissolved, then their name gets protected for a year. They can come back and recover that name. And then after a year, it's freed for anyone to be able to use that name. Uh, we will be sending out notices to all the LLCs that we have on the books. About 800,000 plus um, entities are currently on the books, and that grows every year. Uh, there are reduction in fees, so you talked about the fiscal note. So in the first year, there is an immediate reduction in fee for the creation document, especially online. We take that down to uh, essentially $30. There's a $25 general revenue fee and a $5 tech fee. The $5 tech fee is what funds our IT department and improvements at the Secretary of State's office so that when we need to make IT changes, we don't have to come to the legislature and ask you all. You don't have to find money for us. The money is is built in by the people who use the services pay for the services. So that goes from $45 of general revenue to $25 of general revenue and that carries throughout. Implementation fully for this works out to be fiscal year 2028. That's when we give a notice to everybody. Everybody's had an opportunity to file their five-year report and we move into a standard every five years you're going to file a report. So be happy to answer and take any questions. Uh, thank you for that testimony. So uh, given that the, the filing fee is being reduced and the amount of money coming in is being reduced, uh, does that mean that the program was generating more revenue than it cost GR to, to fund the program in prior years? So I wouldn't classify us as like an enterprise fund where we, we pay for ourselves. We take in about $16 million in revenue um, for general revenue. That's, that's an average. Uh, it's not an exact. And I would say for business services, because I was the director of there, uh, my PS budget was around $3 million. Operating expenses were less than a million. So it, overall, business services is a net revenue generator for the state. Well, right, and, that, and it's not intended to be a, gen, a revenue generator. It's just intended to pay for its own operation. Sure, um, 
but I would say it, it's also covering other operating uh, expenses for the building. For example, my budget didn't necessarily reflect the mail room or, or other services that our building necessarily utilizes that in connection with business services we would still have. Like, I didn't pay rent, utilities, and things like that. Does that make sense? Uh, no, that's, that certainly makes sense. I, I, I guess bottom line, what I'm driving at here is that uh, there's no budgetary ramifications of reducing this fee. I would suspect not really. I mean, it's it's going to reduce general revenue by, in the first year, a little over a million. Uh, but when you take fully implementation, right, that, that $5 that, that comes along later on, if you file online, that revenue will come later on. And so I would essentially look at it as this becomes net revenue neutral in 10 years. Uh, yeah, and the fiscal note does seem to indicate that it might even turn positive at, at some point. Yes, uh, it will eventually turn positive. Fund. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, the goal is not to raise revenue or lose revenue. It's just to pay for the program. C correct. Okay. Correct. We're, we're not looking to make money. What we're really looking is to reach out to businesses and say, okay, are you still in business? Yes, great. Fill out this form. Let us know once every five years. It, this, this is, we're not looking for work. We're just wanting to clean up. The LLCs have grown. So we, we started LLCs in 1993 in the state of Missouri. And the only way an LLC would go out is if they wound up and terminated themselves or they failed to maintain a registered agent or they met their duration expiration. And those are the only means. There, there's no regular maintenance like with a general business or a nonprofit. Every year, maintenance filings are required, registration reports. This is an information statement that's due every five years instead of every year, as in the case of a nonprofit or a general business. All right. Any additional questions for this witness from the committee? Seeing none, thank you for being here thank this you. evening for your testimony. Other witnesses testify in support, House Bill 2157. Seeing none, are any witnesses here testifying in opposition to House Bill 2157? Seeing none, are any witnesses here testify for informational purposes only? Seeing none, that will conclude the public hearing on House Bill 2157, and that will conclude this evening's hearing of general laws.